Welcome back, it's Emily from The Painting Mama. We are sailing through boot camp and already on lesson seven. This week we are talking about all the basics of the subtract feature. If you're new here, Silhouette Boot Camp is filled with many lessons that help us learn the Silhouette Studio terminology and create any design we can dream up. If you are watching on YouTube, hop on over to my blog, www.thepaintingmama.com. So, so, okay. The subtract feature allows you to move two shapes, one in front of the other, and when both of the shapes are selected, the shape in front will be subtracted from whatever it overlaps on the bottom shape, and it's removed from the screen completely. Many of the projects you see on Pinterest or Facebook, kind of like the mermaid life that I have created right here, design, um, you use the subtract tool to create it. I will show you four examples of how to use this tool. Key points for you in using the subtract tool is one, open up two or more shapes, two, move the shapes that overlap in one or more places, three, move the shape you want to be removed to the front, important, only move the shape you want to be removed to the front, and then four, select the overlapping designs by clicking one, holding the shift key and clicking the other. Five is the last step, you're gonna open modify in the right tool, toolbar and then subtract. I'll show you how to do this. Um, first we're going to start by making the popular mermaid life um, design I have right here. So first what I did is I chose a favorite font to write life in which this font is done in um, Bebes New is what life is in and then mermaid is in this dark larch. I think that's what that's it. Dark larch. Um, so I kind of moved the moved it around to how I wanted it, um, made it big, made it. I just kind of moved it around to where I thought it fit well. And then I went to the library in Silhouette Design Store and I bought this mermaid scale background. And I brought it down to my design. So what you want to do is I want to once you get the letters and the words to how you want them, you want to move this the scales to where you want them on your design. I'm gonna move it to about right here, kind of where you want it. It's all your own choice. Right click and you want to bring this scale pattern to the front. So then you're gonna shift and hold the life and the mermaid is selected. I'm gonna go over to this modify panel which is a square and a circle and subtract. Click subtract and see how you're left with the scales went away except for what was on top of the pattern you wanted it to take which is the life. While it is still highlighted you want to right click and you want to group that together otherwise it's going to move all over on you. And then it'll be hard to get it back into shape. What I would do then is I would just highlight the area I wanted colored Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to ungroup that. Why oh, highlight? Sorry. Um, don't group until after you color. So I would color this uh, purple, if you wanted it purple. And then I would take this bottom part, highlight it, and color it the color you wanted. Um, then I would do the same with the top. And then color it the color you wanted. So that's kind of... Oh, then make sure you... Oh, make sure I do this. Did you want to group this all together? so that when you go to move it, it moves all as one piece. So then what we do is if you were to cut it, you'd cut the green out and then you'd cut the purple out and you could put it right on top of each other. So that is how you do the first designing the mermaid life or there's a lot of different um, marine life or um, sailor life with sail. Anyway, you can do all sorts of fun designs, but that's just kind of what I thought of for you guys. Okay, next is we are going to create a pattern with um, fish scales right here. So I want to create a fun little pattern. I'm going to make it, say my little girl wants to have a um, mermaid birthday and I want to make a fun 
circle for the end of my banner that has fish scales on top. So I'll show you really quick. What I did is I made a perfect circle for you guys. And how you make a perfect circle is you select the circle over here. And when you're making the circle, you want to hold the shift key down. Um, I'll show you a quick one really quick while you're doing it. And then that will make a perfect circle. So then I'm going to pull my scales that I once again got in the, the Silhouette store. I'm going to pull the scales over top. You want to right click, bring to front, and then I'm going to select everything, go over to modify panel over here, and subtract. You could also go to object, modify, and subtract as well. It's found in two different places. Once again, oh, we want to group that together, otherwise it's going to be a big mess. And then you can color it in how you want it, whatever color you'd like the scales to be. And then you have a perfect circle of scales that you can put on the end of a banner or something. It's very simple. Just pull the pattern and put it over any anything you want. If you wanted to do a mermaid tail and put this scaly pattern over top, anything like that, you could put a pattern over top. Okay. Next example is the heart cut out of your favorite uh, state. Um, I'm from Utah, so I chose Utah. Once again, I went over here and I went to um, state face. State face is a font you can use. Then I typed in the, um, my letter, which is lowercase r for Utah. I made the Utah the size that I wanted it to be. And then I pulled a heart down from the library right here, this echo heart, over to my design. Um, I'm going to color them so it's easier for you guys to see. We'll just do blue and purple. This would be a fun decal for your car or for something. I'm just making a little cut out of a heart in your state. Make the heart the size you want it, big or small. Um, and then you want it, as you have that heart highlighted, you want to right click and bring that heart to the front. Very, very important is the design that you want to be cut out of is in front. Um, Then you're going to want to hold the shift key down, highlight the state. Now you have the heart highlighted with this square around it and the shape highlighted with this square around it. Go over to modify, subtract, and now you have that fun decal with the heart subtracted. Just print that off on the color you wanted and you have a fun little decal sticker for your car. Subtract tool is pretty fun if you play around with it. I was playing around with it a little while. The last is what we're going to do is we're going to make um, create a single layer depth on projects with multiple layers um, or multiple colors. This makes it so that you don't have layer upon layer. It, say you had a different, this is say, okay, I want this to be pink and I want my letters to be green, but I don't want to keep layering it on top of my car or in a fun frame. Um, you want it to be all one layer. So we're going to do this. I chose... Um, the initials of me and my husband. I uh, guess I'm feeling lovey. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play, I made these letters. I just used the font Apple Gothic. Made the letters E and J, and then I actually duplicated the letters down here and I'll show you why in just a minute. Place the letters where you want, in the middle of the heart. The heart's the same heart I used for all these examples. Um, I'm gonna color the letters And then let's color the heart. So you want to make sure you highlight those letters. Right click, bring to front.
and then you want to shift and hold down to make to highlight that heart modify subtract so what that did here let me just let me just color this to make it easier what that did is if I were to cut these designs it cut out the E and the J perfectly so I could cut this separately on a different piece of paper on a different sheet of vinyl cut the heart out separately but when you layer them together it's going to layer in a single layer design you see that such a fun tool okay and that's all I have for you guys using the subtract tool once again you can do this fun uh, multicolor layer design cut out fish scales in this circle or whatever design you choose um, the fun heart shapes decals out of your state and then the mermaid life decal or um, make it for your little girl, girl's room or the wall or whatever it is. Um, so those are four different ways of using the subtract tool. Make sure to join in next week and uh, thanks guys!